Actress Linda Harrison is well known for her memorable role as Nova in the classic sci-fi movie Planet of the Apes. This part was really important for her career and left a strong impression on people all over the world. Her performance as the silent human in a world ruled by smart apes showed how talented and versatile she was as an actress. Do you have a special memory connected to her work in Planet of the Apes or any other project? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we'll be sharing some funny, surprising, and sad facts about her. Keep watching this video for more. Linda Harrison, known for her role as Nova in the Planet of the Apes series, left a lasting mark on the film industry and beyond. Playing the character Nova, a mute human in a world ruled by intelligent apes, she captured audiences worldwide. This role showcased her talent and greatly contributed to the success of the franchise. Beyond her performance, she served as an inspiration for aspiring actors and actresses. She broke barriers in Hollywood, a place mostly dominated by men, becoming a symbol of strength and resilience. Her determination paved the way for future generations of women in film. Additionally, she engaged in various philanthropic activities, using her platform to advocate for important causes. Overall, her role in the Planet of the Apes series and her influence in Hollywood cannot be overstated. She continues to inspire individuals in the industry today. During the production of Jaws in 1975, an incident involved an actress who was originally set to play the sheriff's wife. However, the head of Universal preferred another actress for the role due to her connection with him, leading to her casting over the original choice. The actress gained fame for her role as Nova in two movies from the original Planet of the Apes series. She shared this distinction with Charlton Heston and others as one of nine actors to portray the same character in more than one film in the series. As of 2020, she was the last living actor among those nine. She also appeared in both the original Planet of the Apes and its 2001 remake alongside Charlton Heston, making her one of only two actors to appear in both versions of the film series. In the sequel to Planet of the Apes, the actress Linda Harrison, famous for playing Nova, mentioned in an interview that James Franciscus took the movie quite seriously. During the making of Planet of the Apes, Linda Harrison, who played Nova, was in a romantic relationship with producer Richard D. Zanuck. Notably, Zanuck divorced his first wife and married Linda Harrison around the time the movie was released. The couple stayed together for nine years and had two children. In Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Linda Harrison reprised her role as Nova alongside Charlton Heston, Kim Hunter, and Morris Evans, who also returned to play their respective characters. These actors are the only ones to reprise their roles from the original movie. Linda Harrison is well known for her role as Nova in the classic film Planet of the Apes. She starred alongside Charlton Heston, who played Taylor. Interestingly, both actors also appeared in the 2001 remake of the movie. The role of Nova was initially considered for other actresses like Ursula Andress, Raquel Welch, and Angelique Pettijohn. However, Andress and Welch weren't interested, and Pettijohn auditioned, but didn't get the part. Eventually, it went to Linda Harrison, who was the mistress of producer Richard D. Zanuck at the time. In the movie Cocoon, she played the character Susan, who was the daughter of Wilford Brimley's character. It's notable that Brimley was only 11 years older than her, despite playing her father on screen. Her performances in these films left a lasting impression on audiences, securing her place in cinematic history. Actress Linda Harrison, known for her role in the 1968 film Planet of the Apes, led a life marked by strong family bonds and a brief stint using the professional name Augusta Summerland. She, alongside Richard D. Zanuck, became a mother to sons Harrison Zanuck and Dean Zanuck, showing her commitment to family life alongside her acting career. In a 1996 interview documented in it came from Horrorwood interviews with movie makers in the SF and horror tradition by Tom Weaver, she shared insights into her experiences in the film industry, giving us a glimpse into her journey within entertainment. One notable role was as Winnie in Airport 1975, where she played Gloria Swanson's personal secretary. Interestingly, she chose to use the professional name Augusta Summerland for this project, deviating from her usual on-screen identity. She continued to act under this name in two more television appearances during the 1970s before retiring from the screen. Her professional choices and family life, as seen through her roles and interviews, offer a simple yet interesting look into her career. Through her roles and adjustments made for certain projects, she showcased versatility in navigating the dynamic entertainment industry. 
In Airport 1975, Linda Harrison played the character Winnie. She had acted alongside Charlton Heston in multiple films, including the Planet of the Apes series. Heston couldn't take the role of Chief Brody in Jaws because he was committed to other projects like Airport 1975 and Earthquake. So Roy Scheider got the part instead. Harrison wanted to play Ellen Brody, Chief Brody's wife, and she tried to persuade her husband, Richard D. Zanuck, who produced Jaws. However, the director, Steven Spielberg, preferred Lorraine Gary for the role. As a consolation, Sid Sheinberg, Gary's husband and a top executive at Universal Pictures, gave Harrison a role in Airport 1975. Harrison appeared in four films with Charlton Heston, including Planet of the Apes and its sequels. She also had a connection to Daryl and Zanuck Depinda, who was her ex-sister-in-law. Born on the same date as Dame Helen Mirren, Linda Harrison had significant connections in the film industry. She was the ex-daughter-in-law of Daryl F. Zanuck and Virginia Fox, which undoubtedly opened doors for her. In Airport 1975, she played Winnie alongside Charlton Heston, with whom she had previously shared the screen in Planet of the Apes and briefly in Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Interestingly, despite their shared screen time in these films, they didn't have scenes together. This trend persisted even when they appeared in Planet of the Apes. Despite their collaborations, they never shared scenes in these movies. It's fascinating to note the dynamics of their on-screen interactions, or lack thereof. Their professional relationship seemed to flourish without direct interaction on camera, showcasing the versatility and depth of their performances. The parallel presence of both actors in these films adds another layer to their on-screen chemistry, albeit indirectly. Their individual roles in each project undoubtedly left a lasting impression on audiences, solidifying their places in cinematic history. This unique dynamic between Heston and Harrison highlights the complexities of filmmaking and the nuances of on-screen relationships. Through their separate yet intertwined journeys on celluloid, they crafted a lasting impact on audiences, continuing to captivate to this day. In Beneath the Planet of the Apes, she played Nova alongside Natalie Trundy, whose husband produced the series. Linda Harrison, married to a studio boss, also appeared in Airport 1975 with Charlton Heston. Steven Spielberg considered Heston for Jaws, but chose Roy Scheider instead. Harrison could have been cast, but another executive wanted his wife in the role. Despite nepotism, the right people were chosen, and the politics now seem amusing. Since the late 1970s, she has lived on Maryland's eastern shore. In an unexpected turn of events, Linda Harrison's life took a tragic twist when she faced personal turmoil in her later years. Despite her success in the film industry, she encountered profound sadness when her marriage to producer Richard Zanuck ended in a heart-wrenching divorce. This unexpected turn left her grappling with emotional distress, highlighting the human struggles that often remain concealed behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Despite this setback, she persevered, demonstrating resilience in the face of adversity. Her journey through the highs and lows of life serves as a reminder that fame and fortune do not shield individuals from the complexities of human experience. Her story sheds light on the fragility of relationships and the importance of inner strength in navigating life's challenges. Did you know that Linda Harrison, famous for her role as Nova in the original Planet of the Apes movie, went through a tough time early in her career? In the late 1960s, just as her acting career was starting to pick up, she faced a terrible fire that destroyed her home and took the lives of her beloved pets. It was a very sad event for her, but she didn't give up. She kept going with her acting dreams and eventually got the part in Planet of the Apes. Linda Harrison's strength after such a tragedy shows how determined she was. Even though she suffered a personal loss, she didn't let it stop her from pursuing acting. She made a big impact on the entertainment world with her role as Nova in the movie. Linda Harrison, famous for her role as Nova in the original Planet of the Apes film, has a sad piece of trivia attached to her life story. After her big break in the late 60s, she faced personal struggles that made her Hollywood journey difficult. In the years after her breakout role, Linda went through a tough marriage with Hollywood producer Richard D. Zanuck. Their relationship ended, bringing emotional strain and financial problems for her. Despite these challenges, she kept going, showing strength amid setbacks. While she's remembered for playing Nova, her personal difficulties show the real person behind the character. This sad fact reminds us that even actors face tough times off-screen. Linda Harrison's ability to overcome these challenges shows how strong she is.